Ballyduff's only one of many bonfires that may or may not have an effigy. Do, do you have an opinion on what's put on the top of a bonfire? Well, uh, I might very well have because uh, in an early part of the meeting yesterday, I thought I might be on top of the bonfire. But uh, <laughs> let's let uh, I do honestly think it is vitally important that uh, yes, our culture and I come from a, a society that this is part of their culture to have an eleventh night bonfire. And uh, yes, what goes into that bonfire is is important. But also, uh, yes, some people feel it is perfectly all right to put a flag of a foreign nation, which is actually at one time, and let's be honest, until relatively recently, they were claiming that they they had some right over Northern Ireland. Do you, you know, think it's okay? Well, I have no problem about burning of a, a tricolour on the top of a, a bonfire. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> it, I'm not going to make any apologies for that, but. But, you know, uh, that's, that's the flag of a foreign, a foreign country as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, there's all... But, but, but can you not look at it another way, Paul? You're an MLA at Stormont. You are yes. forever liaising with TDs in, in Dublin, this foreign country that you talk about, cross-border trade. And we could list the links between uh, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland from now to the 10 o'clock news. And we have very strong... We have the very cross-border strong. trade, the cross-border travel, the tourism, the, the interaction... The, the family ties, etc., etc. But yet and all, as a public representative, you think it's okay to, to burn their national flag uh, on the bonfire at the bottom of your street I, or wherever it is? Can I say, I have seen this going on now, and I, I think it, it's slightly, it, 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 it can be blown out of all proportion. There are, there are bonfires in August as well where, where the Union flag would be burnt and, and such like. But is and, that acceptable? Yes, it, can, it, it can be seen to be provocative. It can very much be seen to be provocative. And yes, we are moving forward. I'm just saying it does happen on bonfires. And, and on a, many occasions, it's not, it's not the people who put it on a bonfire are not necessarily there. They're saying, yes, this is something that uh, we do not want to see ruling over us. And maybe it's the message. But I think if, if conversations take place, I think there's an opportunity for people to learn about each other's culture and where things come from and why certain things happen. And yes, if it causes offence, I think it's important to actually debate that in a proper form with those who are involved. And I think a lot of young people, yes, it's, it, they, need to, they need to see that there is a difference of opinion and uh, you have to uh, respect differences. And uh, that is something that that comes about through maturity. And I'm saying up until relatively recently, yes, nor- the Republic of Ireland did have a claim over uh, Northern Ireland in relation to Articles 2 and 3 of their own, their own, their own uh, constitution. So I'm saying that that's something, yes, that some people still ca- hark back to and still see. So, you know, those are points that need to be uh, brought forward and explained to people so that they do see it. You know, uh, as I say... There have been there have been various different things. You'll end up with a Lundy being burnt on the top of the bonfire, uh, uh, depending on who, who the builder is. It all, it all depends what way it's going. But these are the way it goes. It's just, it's just uh, the, the way the way we have. And many of many people say, you know, well, you know, celebrations in England. They put, they put, there would be bonfires in England uh, uh, in October, and those bonfires, some of those bonfires, they put a guy. Not to call it guy because it is guy Boggs. And, you know, those are, the, those are some of the points that people say, well, what, what was that all about? And it was about him trying to uh, bring down our, our mother parliament. So, uh, you know, those are, the, those are some of the areas that need to be discussed and brought forward. But let's, be, let's, be, let's look at the positives here. We have had a, 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 an agreement within this community that, of where we're moving with this bonfire. Uh, it has been good for, for, the, for the local community. And also the, I, the guys who were involved in the bonfire have uh, moved dramatically and tires have been all tires are being removed from that bonfire and can I say that is a great a great move but those promises that were given yesterday have to be upheld and kept and delivered yeah and you that is, that's what has to happen as a local representative you managed to make progress there and as a member of the largest party in our government and at a time when we're talking about shared future and shared space, people may be surprised to hear you say that it's absolutely okay to, to, to burn the flag, whereas you could be leading from the front and saying, listen guys, you're sensible enough to move the bonfire from the properties, you're sensible enough to take the tyres out of it for the health and safety of the local community, and now as we look to the future, why not stop burning the effigies and make the bonfire a more welcoming environment? Well, that's, 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 that's something that we will be taking the lead on and moving ahead on. 
uh, but whenever, you know, it's, it's extremely difficult sometimes to put forward that argument whenever people see and see their culture being eroded day and daily, they start to fight back. And can I say, part of the reason why bonfires are larger this year is, is as, a, as a result of the flags protest and the decision that was made in Belfast City, City Hall. And that has had a knock-on effect within our area and my community. And I think that, you know, that has to be recognised. And there are those who need to realise just how dangerous these things can be and how that can have a... It doesn't necessarily have an effect, uh, you know, just on one section of the community. It affects everyone. And now we're dealing with the aftermath of that, where we have probably this year uh, things are at a, a more tense stage in relation to bonfires than I've ever seen them.